So now I'd like to talk about the uh, initial uh, setup and some of the basic controls. I'm going to kind of refer to, for people that are kind of transitioning from the uh, old MVP-10 where you had flow knobs and max pressure knobs and peed knobs. This doesn't look anything like the MVP-10, uh, but as you see, um, it's going to be very similar in how we set it up. So we've got a power on button over here on the side. So there are three mechanical knobs here. Actually, I'll deal with the third one first. Flow, you've got to have a flow. Just like in the MVP-10, you had two knobs you could turn on flow. Uh, I turn this knob and you can get flow anywhere from zero to 15. Typically, uh, five or six liters of flow is usually uh, plenty of flow, as long as you can get the peak pressure that you're looking for. Uh, the next knob, we call it a max pressure knob in the standalone version. In the built-in version, we actually relabeled that knob to the PIP, peak ins inspiratory pressure knob. They do the same thing. Basically, we dial this knob to set our peak pressure. So as I turn this knob, you can, this is the manometer, you can watch the peak pressure. It's easiest to look at the top number to see where the peak pressure goes to and set it accordingly. Peep, peep is displayed down here in the bottom corner and as you turn that knob you can increase your peep or decrease your peep accordingly. You can use the vent really in two different modes. Constant flow, in which case flow trigger is off, or if you have the flow trigger installed, you can use it in constant flow, in which case, con in flow triggering, in which case constant flow is off. What I'll do, typically when you're gonna pick up patients on transport or initially put them on the vent, uh, intubated patient, you're going to probably want to use the flow trigger. But just for the uh, sake of uh, ease of use of learning from the old vent, I'll go ahead and, and show you the constant flow mode. So after these mechanical knobs, everything works by touch screen. So you have a main screen where we're going to continue our setup. There are two different alarm screens. It just toggles between alarm one, alarm two. And this works by pressure. Um, a lot of times in these days when people are using their cell phone and you, you don't really have to have any pressure, you just touch. This actually does require just a little bit of pressure. If you use your fingernail and push, works. When you would wanna use uh, flow triggering is, is really two different situations. If you're gonna use um, CPAP, nasal prong CPAP, you want to be in the constant flow mode because typically you're not going to be using the flow sensor and in many cases you're disconnecting the, the patient Y so there's no place to put the flow sensor in line. So you want to be in constant flow. The other reason to be in constant flow are say times where you actually have are going to pick up a patient from a referral hospital that has the patient already situated with a good blood gas and they're on non-triggered ventilation already. And again, most of the time that's not the case. Most of the time the, the referral hospitals actually have a, a triggered vent. But if the patient's already situated, then maybe you want to just don't change anything. If everything is good, maybe you just put them on the same settings and then you can transport um, that way. Most of the time, you'll, you'll probably uh, use um, flow triggering. So as far as the keys go, if you just work your way down, if you highlight rate, you can change it with the arrow keys, up or down. Uh, one thing to note, most of ventilators today, ICU ventilators, will actually have you confirm that change. If I make a change here to 32, it's changed. If I want to change it back, you know, you, it's not going to change back unless, you know, if I go away. 
Inspiratory time, you can set in 05 increments, up or down. We already set our flow. When you're in constant flow, if you look at the alarm screen, the only alarm you have in the alarm one when, you have, when you're in constant flow is peak pressure, high and low alarm. The rate is disabled because you're in constant flow. Uh, the exhale tidal volume is disabled because you're in constant flow and you don't have the flow sensor in line. Alarm two, you have peep alarms, high, low. The middle column is your value. So it's reading five, it's a repeat of this five here. Mean airway pressure, you can turn that on and then you have a high, a low setting and then this is your value for mean airway pressure. And then if you have the oxygen analyzer connected, which we do, you can uh, have your analyzer read out your oxygen display it from your blender. And then you can have high and low alarm settings. For more products and information, please visit our website at www.biomeddevices.com.